So today I come to Oxford to the Fastned charging hub here at the Redbridge Park and Ride and because it's World EV Day today all these charges are free and so are all the rainy AC destination charges there and so are all the Tesla superchargers there and it's only here at the Redbridge Park and Ride charging hub because it's the City Council supporting World EV Day so enabling free charging for all just for today. So it's a nice little perk for EV drivers so keep an eye out for next year when EV World Day is on because they may well be doing something similar again. So the battery is only at 13% on this so let's put it on charge. So I use the Fastned app to enable the charger because it's free charging today. That's just started. And there we go, it's charging. So this is actually the first time I've used a Fastned charger and I'm charging the Zoe there. Normally I'm over there on the Tesla superchargers. So let's just have a look how fast this is charging. So the battery is now at 21%. It says it's got an estimated time of one hour 15. I'm assuming that's to 100%, which we won't be doing that. Um, and we've got 51 miles now. But what it's not telling us is the actual charging speed. But if I look at the app here, it tells us there that it's charging at 44 kilowatt. And then if I have a look at the screen, we can see there, yeah, 44 and a half kilowatt. So that's not particularly fast. I don't know what the maximum charge speed of the Zoe is, but it is very hot today. When we got in the car just now, the car said it's 35 and coming along the dual carriageway, it only dropped to 33. So the battery is already hot. So it could be, that's why we're not getting a great charge speed. There used to be vending machines here, but they've taken them all away. So now there's nothing in the building apart from toilets. So what we're gonna do is walk down the road to Tesco's. So not too far down the road here on the right is a Tesco's where we can get a cold drink because it's a scorching day today. But I've done a video on the channel already about this charging hub and the facilities here which you can have a look at the link at the top of the screen and in the video description below. So let's see what cold drinks they've got. It is nice and cool in here. Anyway, we've got a drink. God, blimey, that is hot out here. It's the hottest day of the year so far. It's like a wall. It's like being in the Mediterranean. It's like a wall of heat when you walk out of an air conditioned shop. But we've got our drinks, so we wander back to the car. It is unbelievably hot today. Just ask Google what the temperature is. It says it's 29, but it doesn't feel like that. It certainly feels a lot hotter. Let's just see what the car thinks. Car's parked in the shade, of course. Is it going to tell us without turning it on? Oh yes, it's 31 there. But we're in the shade under the solar canopy. Um, so the battery is now at 58%. So yeah, it's charging rather slowly. But then you can understand it because it's so damn hot. And then if you look at the current session there, it's charging at 41 kilowatts still. But it's been charging for 33 minutes so far. So these Fastned charging hubs have the solar canopy above, but the solar panels are quite small. And obviously you've got a transparent uh, roof there letting light through. So I do wonder how much energy this is actually producing. If anyone knows, write in the comments. So the normal price of these chargers as of uh, September 2023 is 69 pence per kilowatt hour. So nice bonus today to get this free of charge because it's World EV Day. But it's obviously not particularly well known because there's only five Teslas there. 
there's only two of us here. Well, the third one, Keir's just pulling it in. So three on the DC rapid chargers there. But there are three, maybe four, four cars there on the AC chargers. So a little update on the charging speeds and time. So I've been charging now for just coming up to 52 minutes. Put 34 and a half kilowatt hours in the battery. The charging speed has now gone down to 26 kilowatt, which is what you expect because the battery is filling up. Oh, and the battery is now at 81%. But at this site, you only get one hour free parking if you're charging. So we did get our ticket, which gives you the free one hour. But um, we've probably gone over the hour already, actually, because I forgot to get the ticket initially. So you've just got to watch your charge time, but you don't exceed an hour. So, because we have now been over an hour, I better disconnect, otherwise we're going to get charged for parking. So, you can't do it on there, so let's, I guess, you've got to do it by releasing the charge port. There we go, 83% and it's now finished. So, that will now release. Right, so there we go, battery's at 83%. Oh, let's get this air conditioning on. So I've got back and I've checked the Fastned app and looked at my charging history and I've been charged £24.49. So it sort of repeated what I found the other day with the Tesla supercharger when their network was free for the day, I still got charged. In that case, I used my credit card on the machine. In this case, I purposely used the app to activate the charger just because I got um, sort of caught out last time. So I'll have to check back with my credit card statement in a day or two time to see whether this has actually come off my card because it was meant to be free charging at Oxford today. It's now the 13th of September and the systems did work. I haven't been charged for that charging at the Fastnet hub. But if I look at my app, it's still there showing in the charge history with the cost. But that would have been on my credit card for now. So I haven't been charged, which is good, um, especially because of the price. DC rapid charging is expensive in the UK um, and that session would have cost £24.49. However, for that amount of electricity, charging at home, as I normally do on cheap rate overnight electricity, that would have only cost me £2.66. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. As always, please do click the thumbs up. That really does help. Do subscribe to the channel and also um, ask your questions or write comments down below. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next video.